The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is SaintEagles.com. I'm Matthew Osborne. He is Carson Senior. Jules Gabinini. Jules, two goals against Brevard in the SAC Tournament quarterfinals. First, kind of walk us through that first goal. You get a ball from your roommate, Tom Marie, to send you a ball down the line. You make a move towards the end line, and you get a shot in before Mario Stalby knocks it into the net, even though the ball was in the net. You get the goal. I Walk us through that whole, uh, that whole play. Um, well, Coach had told me when I came on to, uh, to make sure that I got the ball in wide areas and we knew that we could cause trouble for the for them tonight in the wide area so I made sure that I was sort of hugging the line and then I just sort of drifted in as I saw Tom was turning to spray the ball out wide and I took a touch in, inside the full back and saw the keeper had uh, stepped off his line a little bit and was able to poke it in behind him to the back of the net so it was a nice, nice feeling. You capped the scoring late in the game once again walk us through that one there late in the game in the 84th minute. Uh, that was a corner kick we've been working on our corner kicks in training uh, you know, set pieces are really important when you get to sort of postseason play because they can make the difference in a game. Uh, I saw that Paulie had done the signal that he was going to play a ball uh, near post, so I made the run, uh, held off the held off my marker, and was able to get a volley on it uh, into the bottom corner. So that was a good goal as well. In the, in the regular season contest against Brevard, you all struggled to score until the 84th minute, mm -hmm. and they kind of held you out there early in the contest. So is that something that you all got worried about, or is it just something that not even in the back of your mind early? Uh, to be honest, I think we could we use it to our advantage. You know, Once you've played someone for 90 minutes at home, uh, you sort of know their game plan. We knew that they, they didn't have too much more to offer uh, than what they did in the last game, so we sort of knew what, it, what they were going to be like, which it was gave us the opportunity to to work our team and set it set it up so that we, in a way that we knew that we could beat them. So it worked to our advantage, I think. You get Queens on Friday and the sack semis over in South Carolina. What's going to be the key between now and then to get ready to face the Royals? Uh, I think, like Coach just told us, there we need to keep uh, professionalism uh, high. So we need to treat our bodies right. You know, get in the ice baths and uh, eat right and everything like that. And we're going to leave on Thursday night, I think, so we can get a good sleep uh, in where, where is it, Rocky Hill or something like that. Uh, so that we can get our bodies ready for the for the games over the weekend. Last season you made the same exact run with Charleston as you made a run to the NCAA tournament and to the national championship game. What, how much of different is it is this run with this team compared to your team last season? Not different at all. I think uh, we've got a great team spirit and uh, a great team. You know, full of from you know from the starting eleven right through the bench. We've got a lot of strong players, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to use my experience. You know, there's a couple of lads still in the team who went into 2013 to the final. Uh, so between us, I think we can use the experience to uh, to go all the way again. Well, thanks for your time. Congratulations no on the two goal. Cheers, Matthew.